fine. That's absolutely fine. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. When I heard that someone who worked on my sitcom was being awarded a BAFTA, all I quite reasonably heard was, your show has won a BAFTA. <laughs> on arrival, the awful truth has revealed itself. Not only do I not find myself at the actual BAFTAs, but I've discovered... <laughs> let's be honest. No. Take it. Take it! But I've also discovered that Emma Thomas, the recipient of this year's special award... <laughs> fine. ..is receiving it for her work on numerous shows, <laughs> all of which I couldn't care less about. Combine this with the realisation that Emma is that woman who kept interrupting me on set to point out alleged mistakes I'd made. <laughs> and we have a recipe for crushing disappointment. I can't tell you how much I resent being here. <laughs> anyway... Back to the script that was so cleverly kept from me until just moments ago. Emma trained at TV Central in Nottingham. <laughs> Her credits include a wide range of some of the most successful scripted shows in British television, including Goodnight Sweetheart, Birds of a Feather, Teachers, Benidorm, Luther and Bad Education, to name but a few. Incredible, my show's not even on that list. <laughs> The role of script supervisor is an integral part of television production, but seldom recognised or awarded. Fundamentally, the script supervisor is the editor and writer's representative on set, as well as being the right... Oh! Right-hand aide to the director and the director of photography. It is the script supervisor's job to make sure that, at the end of the day, the filmed footage can be cut together coherently. In that sense, they back up every department, monitor the script during shooting and make sure that errors in continuity do not occur <laughs> that would cause an editing nightmare. <laughs> not only has Emma worked on over 50 productions of both television and film in the last 30 years, but she also sits on the board of Women in Film and Television, where she has been a member, quite right, She's been a member since 1999 and takes an active role in mentoring young women in the industry. Let's take a moment to find out more. Special Award. Is this on? Hello, Emma. See, if you were organising this, you'd probably have sorted out where the camera should be. Should I do...? Ah, yes, there you go. Ah. Hello, Emma. How are you? Congratulations on your award. It's well deserved. I remember you from back in the day when we were doing Tisboz, and it was me, you, and the Phantom Flanflinger. We were the only people representing blackness on that show. It's just been announced from Stockholm that Vladimir Kurtz, the Russian bell ringer, who was exiled for ringing his church bells all through the night, has been awarded this year's No Peace Bell Prize. Yeah! <laughs> but now... <laughs> but now... <laughs> it's competition time! That was a very mad job. I was there thinking, am I really working? Because it was such fun. But my mission was to get to be a PA, as it was then, because I knew you had the nine months training. And because it was like gold dust to get the training, so I just kept moving around the country until they gave me the job. You'd work on news shows, live music shows, outside broadcasts as they were then, documentaries, everything. Well, what do you think of the car? It's hard to tell, Dor. We've only come 500 yards. <laughs> it's very me, though, isn't it? I always felt I needed a four-wheel drive. Yeah, to negotiate the perilous north face of the Waitrose car park. No, it's very safe, you see. As a script supervisor, the basics are we're the eyes and ears of the director. Every day is different. You can arrive on set and a myriad of things have gone wrong. Now, the roadside bombs, the IEDs, are coming in all shapes and sizes, including this one. 
There are two important functions that a script supervisor performs and that is accurately recording all of the information that we shoot so that the editor can find it quickly and easily and can share notes from the director directly to the editor and also make sure that we have actually things that will cut together so continuity is a huge important thing. There's a wine and nibbles party after work so tonight I'm going out. I suppose like a lot of jobs, when it works really well, it seems effortless and you don't really notice how good it is. Unless you were to come and stand on someone's set and look at the set, you'd realise how sort of discreet someone was working and how clever and precise they'd be. And that's definitely what, what Emma is. We have friends. We can't go to our friends. They're being watched. You shouldn't push him. You shouldn't have killed my boyfriend. Who was that? No one. It's not no one. Continuity, script supervising, it's a sort of department on its own, so it doesn't have the benefits of having other tendrils to it, you know, like an AD department or a camera department. If it goes wrong or if it's not a good relationship, then it can become quite tricky. He and I might just as well be from different species. He's got to disagree. Murder's murder. But it isn't, is it? Not even to you. I met Emma when we uh, were discussing Twelfth Night. We were talking about how we were going to bring this 400-year-old play from the stage to the screen. Because I'm not trained in the flow of Shakespeare, I had to go and buy a book first that gives you the scenes in the Shakespeare language and then the breakdown of what actually that scene was, because that's how I did my continuity breakdown. What country, friends, is this? This is Illyria, lady. And what should I do in Illyria? Not only is Emma a great script supervisor, she's a great teacher. First time directors such as myself, you need someone to hold your hand. Someone will help you stay calm when the heat is on, when the light is fading and you're thinking you're never gonna get this done. She will be there to provide that calm, reassuring presence, which is invaluable to a director. Youth. Whatever so thou art, thou art but a scurvy fellow. Good and valiant. We've worked together on a, a drama series called Soon Gone, A Windrush Chronicle. Get out of my house, you dirty black bitch, and take your bastard baby with you. Who you calling dirty when you eat out of this same bowl as your dog? It charted the story of a family from the 1940s through the generations up to date there were short monologues talking about their experience as a minority living here in this country. It was a really important project. It feels as if I'm almost part of the enemy, as if they think that because my father's not black, I'm not qualified to assist. And now if I mention the police, I get the who? Where you come from? I think it's important to have people like Emma in the film industry to pass on their knowledge because there's very limited training around. She does a lot of work for women in film and television, mentoring other script supervisors, trainees. She teaches at film schools. She can talk to actors, she can talk to directors, she can talk to producers. She'll do it with charm and humour. She's a great asset to have on any set. Amber's been a real trailblazer to have such an established career and being a woman of colour as well, to have that body of work is not an easy thing to achieve. It's really nice. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You thoroughly deserve it. And as Spike Milligan once said, it's about time to hope you have a really great night and I'll be seeing you soon. Emma, I'm so happy for you. Yes. I can't think of anybody more deserving than you of this award and um, it's about time. Congratulations on this huge achievement and a great body of work and I look forward to working with you again very soon. 
you are such a warm-hearted, kind human being, and I just want to wish you all the best and have a great night. There's a thing called respect, which you have in droves from everybody that works with you. Congratulations, much love, and I'll see you soon. Ladies and gentlemen. This, um, this lady is a brilliant script supervisor. She is a fun, endlessly professional and positive presence on set. And I am so delighted to be here to present this year's BAFTA Special Award to Emma Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> feel grounded thank you this must be what it's like when your life flashes before you and I'm referring to this VT package because that's the first time I've seen it thank you BAFTA for this incredible acknowledgement of my career in script supervision and continuity thank you to all of the BAFTA team that have been looking after me since I found out about this prestigious award and the official announcement even though script supervisors are normally a head of department of one, I could not have achieved everything in my career without a large number of family, friends and colleagues standing in my corner. My first proper job in the industry was as a clerk typist in the Muppet office in Elstree. <laughs> and I think there's quite a few people that now know I used to work for Kermit the Frog. <laughs> what a strange and fantastic start to my career. So thank you, Patsy DeLord and Martin Baker, for looking after me in those early days. The job of a script supervisor requires a high level of concentration, stamina, and an eye for detail. These skills are often required at the times when you're at your lowest ebb and it's the last hour of the day or night shoot. Even with all the courses available, it isn't a job you can learn from a manual. Learning on the job is essential because each project is different and requires a number of different personal skills. You need to be a team player, but stand your ground and hold your hand up if you make a mistake. I might be holding this. Uh, continuity isn't life or death, but it does help if you have a sense of humour when you're trying to do your job efficiently. Thank you to all those senior script supervisors, Janet Brown and Gillian Moncrief, who helped me during my training. Although I'm used to working up to 14 hours a day, it's not sustainable on a long-term project. However, if the project is in an exotic location, it does make a lot of difference. <laughs> My role has changed a lot over the years. There's less preparation time, and the turnaround at the end of a series or a shoot has been reduced. But there are lots more uh, devices available to script supervisors to help, the help them make the job more efficient. And I'm still learning some of them. It's wonderful to see more women on set as DOPs, lighting gaffers and grips. It's been wonderful to work with more female directors in the last five years than I have done in most of my career. So that's fantastic. Ooh, uh, between 1999 and 2000, I became a member of two organizations, Women in Film and TV and BAFTA. I spent three months in LA and BAFTA were my first port of call 
and I was welcomed with open arms. I don't think I can carry on without thanking my parents who made that decision to leave Sierra Leone, relocate to the UK to provide a better life for me, my sisters and my late brother. My two sisters, my two sisters are here with me tonight, Ellen Thomas, Cecilia Thomas. without whom I would not be standing here today. Also, thanks to my wonderful friends, Gerardo, Nicola and Arlene, who kept me grounded. They're also here tonight. <laughs> and then, uh, well, I'm going to say this piece first and then there's going to be a surprise. So thank you to all my script supervisor colleagues. To, there's too numerous to mention here because there's over 150 in the Script Supervisor Association. But Carolina Riley, you've always been on the end of the phone whenever I need to ask your advice. And you're the only one that answers at 2 a.m. and I didn't even know you were going to be here, so I'm speechless. As most people know and have seen, I don't normally look like this on set. <laughs> so I have to thank the fantastic team at the Andre Pierre Salon And Maggie Semple and her creative team, who designed my dress. And finally, I'm incredibly honoured to be the recipient of the BAFTA Craft Special Award. I've had the privilege to work with a number of talented professionals, some of which are in this room, Steve, <laughs> uh, to work on a huge variety of programming films throughout my career. And I've been at the forefront of this ever-changing industry. It's a privilege to have been awarded the prestigious British Academy Television Craft Special Award in a year where so many women have been recognised by BAFTA in front of and behind the screen! Yeah! Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you. I don't know. I'm just going to say... Man down. They've asked me which of my favourite programmes. Too late, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously it's man down. So obviously. Thank you very thank much. You, Emma. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Can I go now? <laughs> Thank you. I'm just... Thank you. Thank you. I have to do this for... Thank you. Thank you. Shall I take this with me? Emma Thomas. Yeah. 